Uh, welcome back to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. I'm Joanne. Joanne's still on. So now I'm going to show you how to put the grinder together, including the alignment situation. Okay? I've got the burr out. I've done everything they want to do. You want to make sure your lock washer is down against the head. The lock washer goes on. The lock washer is in a cupped shape. So the cup is in this direction. Okay? Cup this way. Take this, and do you see it, Barb? If you hold still. I hook it into that one. See how I did that? Yep. I just hook that one in there, and I get it a little snug. I snug that one down, and I move it around. Uh, light is an issue. Can you see that That's hole? Good. Yes. Now there's the second hole that I'm gonna put the other bolt into. I move that into position and make sure I can see it. Is that a good position for you, Barb? Yep. Okay, I'll work upside down and backwards. Now I put the other screw in place. Once again, I'm using a ball driver, ball end driver, so I can come in at an angle with my tool. Okay, this one's a little tricky. You get that one started. Okay, now I have those two started. Now, and they're snug down, okay? Now, we're gonna show you. This is the alignment part. This is the alignment. I take the axle, the, the, the bare naked axle, and you kind of get it started through here. You kind of be careful you don't jam it. Now, do we have some other form of light here? There's a flashlight laying around here, Joanne. Yeah. I saw it somewhere. Oh, okay. There, all right. So, I have aligned the teeth of this burr with my thumbs. And I'm holding it in this direction. The end of the axle enters. Now you have to be kind of careful. It's kind of jiggle it, you and it will drop. Kind of the jiggle it and bump it to the axle. Right. It has to go through this little part of the carrier, and it's a very tight tolerance. This is aluminum. This is stainless steel. You don't want to damage the edge of that carrier. So you be kind of careful here. Let me show you that again. Okay, see this point? There's your danger point. Okay. It's easiest for me to take it up like this, hold the burrs together with my thumb, and bump, 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 bump. Just a gentle... Gentle bumping. Now, I want to find the screw hole. See it there? See the yes. screw hole? So I go ahead and I put in one of the short screws. And once again, I... You can I, find that hole, by the way, by looking at the back end of the axle. In this amount of space that's visible up the shoulder will line up that hole. So the principle here is that, and this is the short, short screw. Oop, I moved it around. I'm not right in the right place. I got so many lights, cameras, and actions going on here. That's what happens when you're okay. a star. So there's the screw hole. All right. Now, the principle involved here is that, so I put the screw in. So you're right now attaching the burr carrier okay. to the axle. Now, I have a bearing down here. I have a bearing up here. These, this part is a precision injection molded piece. So those two, these two points are in the center. The carrier is centered. It's a machine part that has a tight tolerance. So this moving burr forms the center. This is our center alignment. Now, and the stationary burr screws are loose. So. The only place that the stationary burr can go, because of the tooth formation, the only place it can go in relation to the moving burr is in the right position. So these screws are loose on the fixed burr. You install that's my axle with the rotating burr. That's my best you alignment. You them together and then tighten the screws on the stationary. The burrs are rubbing together. Now. In this position, I reach up here, I tighten, 
and I tighten. That's my alignment, a nice, nice smooth run, okay? Once that's done, now I use the L key. Remember, I've got my... I think I screwed up. What'd you do? I don't see... I don't see my... <laughs> Did you leave lock the lock washer. washer off? No, it's there. The lock washer's there. Let's see. Let's see. It's there. It's there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good okay. on you. So, now I take my L key and I make sure these are nice and tight. This is why our alignment really doesn't change during grinding because that fixed burr is really hooked in there, okay? Now, I proceed. Once I've done, I do that for alignment. Now I remove the axle. Thusly, once again, I just pull it out, okay? Now we begin my assembly. This is my part here. There's a thrust, a thrust washer, a needle bearing, and a thrust washer. And then this sits right on top of there. There's the brass hole. Now I take this. <laughs> if go I, ahead, go ahead, okay, just go ahead. I take this and I swoop it into position. Okay, That's, yeah. this is my, my artistic move here. Now I can't get it out, but. I drop it into position there, okay? And I do this in, in this one kind of smooth movement. These are held together, okay? It, and it comes like this, ready? I'm ready. It comes just right down like that. Yep. Okay? Now, getting the axle in, I get it started on this end. And make sure it's gone through that first bearing. Now, once again, I take my thumbs get the burr in the right place. Now, I tell you what happened here. I have to check and make sure. Okay. You have to look in here and to make sure your your oh, your thrust washer your thrust washer is in the right place. Okay, get this started. There it goes. I'm holding this in position. You're holding the rotating burr the rotating down burr on the stationary Down onto the stationary burr. And once again, I turn this into the fine position. It's a little easier. Okay. There, there it here. goes. Okay. Now I find my screw hole again and put in the first of these short stainless steel cap screws. Okay, that holds the axle in position. Okay, and that goes. Tighten that really tight, okay? That operation was done on the finest setting so you can reach that screw. Once I do that, the simplest thing for me is to put in the tensioning system because that holds the that holds the the axle kind of more still when you do these other things. So on goes the thrust it's system. Thrust washer, needle bearing, bearing. and thrust washer. On goes then the spring. the spring. Then the spring cover. Then the spring cover, which I put in place and compress it with my thumb. Start one screw. Start that the other screw. The spring cover, by the way, has two wings on the back. And when you install it, you want to make sure that that wing matches up to this bottom part. Yeah, you don't put like it on that. upside down. Although it would probably work upside down, but... You can put it upside down. You don't need to ask so how you, I know that. You, you snug these down back and forth, then you tighten it down. Okay, that piece is in place. And I come around this way. Now I'm going to put my auger spring back on and what we've been doing is we've been putting a little Loctite on this piece just because um, don't like we, the idea of a spring coming loose we really don't want this to, to come loose unexpectedly so once again I take my two and a half straight driver 
You don't have to. You really have to get that in there. You don't have to worry so much about finding the hole because it's already in place. Okay, so I put this down and make it a little loose so that'll move around. It'll be clear when I do that later. Okay, burrs aligned. These are tight. Both of the lock washers are in place. Uh, spring is in place. Yeah, now it's time to put it back on the frame. Okay, putting it back on the frame is pretty straightforward that I like using a straight hex because it holds the it holds that nicely it doesn't fall out and plus you can magnetize it can you I see what I'm that, doing I noticed that those nuts are not the same on both sides right it's flat on one side and kind of crimply on the other side this is a nylon lock washer there's a nylon sleeve on the inside of it this is the way it goes on, the flat side. Okay. Okay. Can you see what I'm doing here at all? Yeah. Okay, I'll turn it this way. That goes through the hole. You hold that with your fingers. You get it started until basically it hits the nylon and it stops. So I put in those two, I get them started. This one, reach underneath. This one, I will go you can use the ball driver for this too. This is just preference. I'll go a little loose. Now, so you look at the back of this thing, okay? You move this until you basically even out these two spaces. This is simply, it doesn't have anything to do with strength. It's simply a cosmetic thing that, that the outer case fits better if you have this completely. You have that installed evenly. You have that center. installed evenly, okay? Uh, I tighten it. And I tighten it. I'm using the box end on this. Then I reach under here and I finish this one. Okay, at this point you look to see if you've made any little marks and most of them will just rub out with your finger. Now I'm, I'm ready to um, go ahead and put it into the case because to finish off the spring, I have to have it in the case. All right, so I'll just do that. Make sure you do not forget this part. Ask me how I know. <laughs> okay, I drop it in the case. And these are the cap screws. Once again, I like the straight driver down in here in the corner. Two angles up and out. Okay, so there's one. Don't really I like to get those started with the ball driver and finish them with it. Yeah, Barb likes the ball driver. I, I you can use as, as long as your the bit of the tool is it fits well, and um, Good you can use the ball driver all the way around. But I'm just accustomed. I change tools because this tool you have to use the ball end because it's at an angle. If, if it's at an angle, you have to use the ball. If it's straight, you can use the hex. So you put the three on the inside. Three on the inside. One on the outside. Okay, I didn't tighten those all the way up. They're kind of finger tight plus a half turn back. This one I tighten first. This one I tighten second. These the two down here. I finish. Now, this next part is um, kind of a, <laughs> I don't know if, if it's skill. A, if you have a vice grip, you can do this yourself. yourself. If you don't have a vice grip, you'll need a, another pair of hands to, to help you out. Yeah, I've got a piece of leather and a vice grip that I put on the gear. When I'm doing this myself, or when we build this, this is what we use. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to take the longest of these screws, I'll put it in there. Before I do that, this screw, I have to align the screws. So I need to find a screw hole. There it is. There's this screw hole, then there's the other screw hole and in the axle. you do that by hanging onto the auger I hold cover. hold the auger cover. And turning the axle. And turn the axle inside. And it's nice and snug, so I find that. 
Once I align those, now I'm ready to wrap the spring. Now, I can only do this myself standing up. Now, this is what I use. This is a two and a half millimeter hex. You can use a long straight one, a two and a half millimeter hex. I find it a little awkward. Bob, you can do this, can't you? Yeah. You can do it with a long yeah. hex, because this is a special, I don't know if you can even buy these adjustable length ones. Okay, yeah, Barb's saying hurry up. You want to do this? Sure. Uh, okay. Joanne, can you grab the, can you grab the camera? Sure. Yeah, Barb can use a regular tool on this. I'll move out of the way. Okay, she puts it there. I'm going to stretch it up. You got that in your right hand, then you turn the auger, you turn that whole thing counterclockwise, and you get the screw in there. You, might, you have to make sure it's straight down into position. And you drive that all the way home. Okay, so you have to take your thumb and push the spring into position and tighten this all the way down. Okay, and make sure that that's all the way tight. Once that's done, now, there's one more thing to do. You use this a is a ball, two and a half inch, two ball, ball. Come in at an angle and finish tightening that screw there. The reason for this little operation is that this is the last one you tighten, so the spring forms it has a natural coil uh, on the, the center of the auger, that if you put this on in the wrong position and tighten it down before, it can be bent on the end and it puts a lot of stress down here. So this is the important one that it's a natural position, so we do that last. Now I think where we are, Barb, we've covered the reassembly. Yes. So once you get your spring in, make sure everything is nice and tight, you're pretty much done except for the you, you finish the assembly just like we talked about in the, uh, in the cleaning video. Put that back on, put your screws in. So we've covered this. And that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. She'll go ahead and finish putting it together. But the critical part was how do you take the axle out? How do you align it? Make sure you have good tools. It's obvious if you have the grinder that stripping one of these screws is really like the worst thing you can do. And as I said, possibly, unless you've got a foreign object stuck in the burr, what you're doing is purely recreation. If you want to check the alignment, fine, it can be done. If you want to check for bean shards or cleanliness, fine, it can be done. But as far as we can tell, it doesn't need to be done. Okay, right, Barb? That's right. That's right. So Barb's gonna finish it. I hope this helps. I hope we don't have a lot of uh, questions of like, <laughs> how, how do I, I put it back, back together? together? But there it is, and thanks a lot. Thank you.